Hey everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. It's Monday, the sun is out. It's uh, the middle of March on its way to St. Patrick's Day. We're about four and a half months away from the Nationals, so pretty exciting. will be my first time there. So I'm finally getting around to doing my tribute video to Joey Votto. It's a little bit appropriate since he's now signed with another team and this is also going to classify as my thousand unique Joey Votto card video. So I did hit that milestone early last fall. I want to say probably around September. Um, I did was able to catalog the rest of my cards this past weekend. So I have 1060 unique Joey Votto cards between uh, graded cards and raw cards, which is pretty cool. It's a little obsessive, but I am a super collector for a reason. So um, what I thought I'd do in my tribute video is I'm going to break it into two parts. So the first video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about his career and then um, him signing with the Blue Jays, as most of you know. And then I'm going to showcase my raw cards that are his prospect and rookie cards. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to showcase all of the graded cards that I have, both rookies and non-rookies as well as um, any other kind of specialty cards or autographs that I have. So anyways, um, just doing a little bit of research. You guys can see there, it kind of looks weird with him having a Toronto Blue Jays hat. Although I will say if he was going to go to another team, it is pretty cool that he gets to go back to where he's from, to the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, first, I heard a, a little, little while ago that he got a non-roster invite to spring training. Then I saw that he signed a minor league deal with the, excuse me, with the Blue Jays. So we'll see how it works out for him. I wish him all the best. Uh, he really had some great, um, just some great moments as a Cincinnati Red. Uh, my friend Jeremiah and I were watching his greatest game. We didn't get to finish all of it, but it was against the Nationals from, I think it was 2012, but he hit like three home runs and had a crazy amount of RBIs and made some plays in the field and things like that. And, um, just a great icon for Cincinnati. Um, his career numbers, uh, 294 batting average and uh, over 2,100 hits, uh, 356 home runs, which is second most all-time on the Reds list. Needs 33 to, uh, to tie Johnny Bench and 34 to beat him for the overall lead. That's probably not going to happen um this year unless he plays really the majority of the year and really has a breakout or kind of a revival year so anyways uh let's get to the cards and uh please drop a comment below let me know if you see any that uh, are your favorites um uh that you like and and kind of some general thoughts about joey Votto going to another team so first one here is this uh, bowman prospect card from 2002 this is his first uh, Bowman card, even though it doesn't say first Bowman. So uh, also have the Chrome version, but that one's graded. So you'll see it in a later video. And by the way, these are chronological. I tried to make them chronological by year for you guys. Um, here we go. This is the uh, Tops 206. And uh, this is a really iconic card. I almost got this graded, but there was like a little print dot on one of them. It's kind of an interesting card. This is from also from 2000. Uh, this one is uh, 2003, excuse me. All right. Then we've got a couple of minor league cards. This is a just minors card when he was with the Dayton Dragons. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see him play for the Dayton Dragons. I wasn't watching baseball much back then. I wish I had. Um, first time I remember seeing him in person was in 2009 uh, at a Reds game. It was his second year, I think, and he ended up hitting a home run that game, and it was a game that the Reds beat the Indians, so that was pretty cool to watch. This is a neat card. This is kind of like the 84 design. I got this from another local collector, Multi-Ad Sports from 2003. Pretty cool card there. Um, ha! Sorry, I just got done saying I wasn't going to do... Uh, autographs but I'll, i threw a couple prospect autos in here so you guys will get to see the other ones later but this is probably one of his most iconic um autographs this is the signs of the future bowman from 2004 got this a couple summers ago um i might eventually send it for grading there's little little tiny ticks of white these cards are really really subject to chipping 
Um, but it'd be sweet to get a nine. Even if I could get an eight, I mean, I guess that would be good. But it, it looks nice just in the mag, uh, displays well. So that's his very first uh, autograph um, in a Reds uniform. So definitely an iconic card for any Reds collector. Very glad to have that in the PC. Then we've got some other minor league cards here. This is a TriStar Prospects Plus with the Chattanooga Lookouts. Kind of a neat foily card from 2006. And then we've got the um, Bowman Futures and the Bowman Chrome Futures game from 2006. Pretty cool with the black border there. Also got a nice parallel, this blue parallel. Um, blue is my favorite color, so really enjoy this. Um, I looked at this over for grading. Unfortunately, it had a little bit of uh, one of the corners had some white on it. So oh, that one there, yeah, you can see the tick of white. Number to Y99. It is a beautiful card and it's a bit off center. So not really a candidate for grading, but still displays well. Nice refractor there. All right, then we have the 2007 Bowman and Bowman Chrome Futures game. Those are pretty neat as well. I like that. That uh, shot of him looks like he just hit a home run. All right, and then the other prospect auto I have, I also picked this up from someone um, around the Cincinnati area in the, one of the Votto Facebook groups. But this is the uh, 2007 Bowman Sterling prospect auto. Nice card. Um, not super expensive, but nice card there. Kind of neat to have the jersey and the, uh, the little player uh, face there. Pretty sweet. All right, now let's move to the actual rookie cards from 2008. So we'll start with Bowman. There's just kind of the basic Bowman design. And then the uh, Bowman Chrome. Uh, interesting that it's white and not silver, but I do have a Bowman Chrome refractor that I got graded, and you'll see that in a later video. Um, then we've got the uh, Bowman Draft and the uh, Bowman Chrome draft there. That's from 2008, which is kind of funny because it has the rookie card on it. Um, okay, the Bowman also has that. So it's kind of funny that Bowman Chrome draft and it has his rookie, but it's a draft. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking back then. <laughs> um, also Bowman Sterling, really nice card. I like that with the silver finish. Uh, I'm also looking for one of the variants. Um, I don't know why I had an opportunity to pick one up. I thought at a good price, but for some reason I was after a couple other cards. So it was just a decision of money uh, that I didn't get it. But at some point I'd like to get the variant of that. Uh, let's see here. Then we've got the cons from the, that's the, uh, his card from the uh, cons team set, Reds team set from 2008. Pretty nice card there. Um, again, a thin paper card. Um, could look it over for grading, but I'm not sure I really want to send that one in. Uh, we've got an Allen and Ginter there, which is really nice. A simple white background. And then uh, this is an interesting card. This is an E Tops. I think it's numbered out of 799. I was gonna submit this one for grading because it doesn't have a high pop, um, but unfortunately there was a surface scratch somewhere in here. I uh, can't remember exactly. Oh, yeah, you can see maybe a few right there. So, you know, if I think, if I know it's going to get a nine, unless I really, really want to get it slabbed, I'm just going to keep it raw for the PC. So these are a couple of nice parallels of 2008 Tops Finest. Uh, the base card I have in a slab, which you'll see in a later video, but I picked these up from a local collector, maybe in the Columbus area, another Votto collector, the blue one is numbered out of $2.99, and the green one is numbered out of $1.99. I might get these graded at some point. I think they'd probably grade a 9. The centering is a little off, and they have a few little surface scratches, but they would look pretty cool on a slab, especially the uh, blue one. Then we've got uh, Topps Heritage, kind of an interesting card there with a red, white, and blue background. We've got a nice chrome parallel bit off center but nice one and then a really nice refractor again quite a bit off center otherwise I would have submitted it for grading uh, the refractor is numbered to 559 so just a awesome card to have in the PC always like heritage like the nostalgic cards the throwbacks and we've got a heritage rookie performers insert which is nice um, we've got this uh, card which is 
a um this is from Topps. I, I can't remember the exact brand of this, but there's also a chrome version. I think this was like a Target chrome parallel or something like this. Obviously, I like the chrome one better, but it uh, might be a, a 206. I can't remember exactly. Um, comment below if you know that one. Uh, then we have the uh, Kmart version from Topps, which is really cool with the gold design. Again, would have sent that one for grading, but it's got Kind of a little bit of a dinged corner there and up there as well. So, um, tops, moments, and milestones. These are kind of neat. Um, I saw somebody recently try to sell one of these in the Facebook group, and they were asking way too much money. But um, they are cool. They're numbered to 150. Again, this one has a little little ticks of white where the black is. So, you know, decided not to send it for grading, but pretty sweet um card there and each of the cards is a different like stance and milestone on the back so that's pretty cool got tops opening day that's just the regular it's a red um big corner chip there unfortunately but um might upgrade this card at some point to one with a uh, nicer i'm not a fan of this pose it looks like he's falling asleep <laughs> the way his eyes are kind of half closed but um i do like the red background and then this is the um the uh, opening day variation of that with the white and gold. This is a beautiful card. Unfortunately, it just has that one black print dot where I probably would have sent it in. I think it had a good shot at a PSA 10, which again, I don't think these uh, have a high pop, but that's okay. And uh, picked this one up recently from another collector at a card show, my friend Tony. So I appreciate him hooking me up for this. He had multiples of this. This is the the regular Reds Fest card from 2008, the team set. And I previously I had this Reds Fest with the Kids Cuisine variation, although this one is actually more desired by collectors. I'm not sure why, um, if it was harder to get. Uh, anybody that knows the backstory on that, um, please let me know. Uh, looks really similar other than just the logo there with the Kids Cuisine. It's cool. He's card number 19, so... Pretty cool there. Um, next, we've got some Stadium Club. I, I love that shot there. Always great photography. That's the base card. And then this is a first day issue variation. It's a thicker card, as you can see. But um, they are very condition sensitive. And I know this one had um, like a corner ding or something there. It is numbered to $5.99, so it's pretty cool. Um and then this is the first day issue uh, variant from retail, I believe. So pretty cool there of him fielding a ball. And we've got um, a thicker card, tops triple threads. Excuse me, tops triple threads. These are really subject to chipping. You can see there. There's quite a lot of corner damage on that. That's just the base card, and it's uh, out of five twenty five. So that's kind of uh, kind of cool. Um, that the base cards are numbered. Then we've got a uh, Topps Gold variant. So another nice card. There was something wrong with this. I was looking at that one for grading, but I forget what it was. It either had a print dot or I guess the centering is quite a bit off there. Uh, but cool card there. And then we've got this uh, other one. Looks like a base card, but it's from the Topps team set, the CIN. That's how you can tell that it's from the team set. Um, again, another nice card. It, it had like a little bit of a corner ding, so chose not to submit that one. This is from Topps Update. Uh, this is the highlights card, going, going, gone. Uh, hit three home runs in a game against the Cubs, so pretty cool uh, highlight there. Looks like May 7th of 2008. I'll have to go watch that game. That was back when I was not watching the Reds. Uh, on a consistent basis. Then we've got um, Upper Deck. I think this one is a piece of history. I think that's the variant. Upper Deck used to have a lot of different sub-brands. And we've got a, um, this is a first edition Upper Deck. I also have the regular base card in a uh, slab, a BGS slab, actually. And this is a card you don't see real often. This is a Upper Deck rookie debut, uh, September 4th, 2007. So pretty cool. He made his debut at the very last month of the season that year. Um, then we've got a bunch of Upper Deck Timeline cards. Let me see here. I think there's actually eight of them. 
Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the variants. So, yep, there's uh, eight different cards of these. For those of you that are trying to collect them all, they all have different, um, different year, uh, different designs uh, associated with different years. This one's actually a gold parallel um, of the base. Some of them are die cuts. They kind of have a cool, uh, cool look there. Um, that looks like an early '90s upper deck, maybe '91, '92. Um, that's I like the background of that. I really like the silver in that with the crowd. Um, that one's pretty cool too. Now this last one has an interesting story. I I might try and and replace this, but it does have kind of a neat. So when when they were using the stamping machine to stamp the pack shut, looks like they got the very very tip of this die cut um, with that machine. So I didn't really like it when I first uh, bought it from somebody. I thought that's how it was supposed to be. I guess. Thought it was maybe like kind of looked like kind of like a king's crown or something but um the collector said hey that's really cool like the machine did that so i would just keep it as is so you know i'll probably do that um but you can kind of see it's like the very very tip of that card so just unfortunate uh tends to happen machines can make errors and then here's some upper deck documentary cards there's a bunch of these i just have two of them I mean, you can get, I want to say there's maybe 15 or 16 total, something like that, um, if you're interested in collecting them all. So, all right, and that rounds out the um, rookie cards that of Joey Votto. The only rookie card I think that I am missing besides these is the Topps Chrome National Convention, which there was only 300 made of. Um, I had an opportunity about four or five years ago to buy one. Unfortunately, I bought a different card instead, and that's probably one of my biggest regrets because now those cards are hard to get. And my friend who had those actually had three of them, got them graded, and they all got a PSA 10. <laughs> and they're all really, really valuable, and I probably can't touch them now unless I traded away like a lot of cards. So anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. Please drop a comment below, especially those of you that collect Reds cards, Votto cards. Were there any in here that you really enjoyed? Were your favorites? What do you think about Votto? How do you think he's going to do this year? Um, he's crazy with all the social media stuff, but I really do wish him the best. I think he's a great guy. Uh, even if he comes in as a DH or, or just, um, even as a substitute, you know, works his way back to the majors. Obviously I wish him the best. I think he'd make a great coach. He was definitely a funny broadcaster last year with Barry Larkin for a few of the Reds games. So I, I hope he stays in some facets of the game because he just, just has a passion for it. You can tell he really enjoys it. And uh, I just hope he stays connected in that way. So hope you all have a great rest of the weekend. Please like, comment, subscribe.